Hey everyone, here's a question from square and square root. The question is, find the smallest number by which 605 must be multiplied so that the product is perfect square. Now they're saying that we have to find out the smallest number by which this 605 must be multiplied. So this 605 is not a perfect square. We have to make it perfect square by multiplying with some smallest number. So what is the least number or the smallest number? We have to multiply to this 605 so that the number will become perfect square. Now whenever they ask you this type of question, this is really important question. This type of questions are really important. They're going to change the number but the type of question will remain same. So they may ask you find the smallest number to be multiplied. So here in this question they are asking us to find out like number to be multiplied. Sometimes they may ask you to find out divide. For both for multiplication division you have to use a prime factorization method. So here we are going to do a prime factorization of 605 and then I am going to explain you what to do. So let's do a prime factorization of 605. Now 605 is a uh, odd number and it doesn't go in an even number table. So I will not check with 2 because 2 is an even number and 605 doesn't go. So we have a 605 and the 605 doesn't go in a 3 table. So I am going to jump directly to the 5. Now remember it's a prime factorization method. So you have to take only prime numbers when you factorizing it. So I am going to start here with 5. So 5 ones are 5. Um, uh, uh, 6 we have, right? So 5 ones are 5. So when you subtract it, 1 will be your remainder. So that makes the number 10. Okay, 1 and 0, 10. So 5 twos are 10. Again, we have 5. So 5 ones are 5. Now this is a short way I do it directly here. In case you don't know how to do or if you have your own way of doing a prime factorization, go for it. Now we have 121 and we know that 121 is a square of 11 or 121 square root 2 is, is 11. 11 square is 121 and 11 is a prime number. If you check uh, 121, it doesn't go in any table except 11. So 11, 11 are, it's a square of 11, right? 11, 11 are is 121. Again, we have 11. 11 is a prime number. So 11, 1 are 11. So I'm going to rewrite this. So 605 can be written as, write down all the prime numbers you got here. So we have 5 multiplied by 11 multiplied by 11. Now, if the number was a perfect square, if, then the prime numbers you got here will gonna be in a proper pair. Pair means you can see that this is forming a one pair. We have a 11 has a prime number twice, right? It has a pair. Here 5 is single. It doesn't has a pair. If it was a perfect square, all the prime numbers will be in a pair. It will be in a uh, you're going to have a proper pairing here doesn't it's not a prime number it's not a perfect square number so what number should be multiplied that is a question right what is the smallest number to be multiplied so that the 605 will become perfect square now if you see that if i have had another 5 here then there will be a proper pairing and the number will become uh, perfect square right so here if they ask you the question is what is smallest number to be multiplied it is 5 we want another 5 here so smallest number to be multiplied here will be 5 so that the number will become perfect square so let's multiply 5 here on both the side so here we go so i'm going to multiply 605 so you, when you're multiplying, when you're introducing another 5, you have to do it on both the side. So 605 multiplied by 5 is equal to here 5 into this 5. I'm adding one extra 5, multiplying one extra 5 here, multiplied by this 11 into 11. Okay. Now 605 multiplied by 5, it is actually not necessary, but you can multiply. It will be 3025. Okay, and 3025 is a perfect square and it is equal to 5 into 5 into 11 into 11. So the answer is what is the smallest number to be multiplied is 5. So let me conclude the answer first. Therefore, 5 is the smallest number, smallest number to be multiplied. Now similarly if they ask you what is smallest number to be divided, now if I remove this 5 in case they are asking divide and if I remove this 5 from here then I am going to have 11 into 11 right, 
it's already paired so smallest number to be divided will be also 5 here if I remove this 5 so when you're doing division you should divide 5 on both the side like here in this case I have multiplied 5 on both the side for division you have divided a 5 on both the side now this is the answer now in case they ask you find the square root also in case they ask in this question they have not asked so the answer for this question will be 5 5 is the smallest number to be multiplied to get a perfect square in case they ask you to find out the square root also then square root of 3025 will be you might have learned how to do it from each pair I'll take one one number from here I'll take one five and from here I'll take one eleven so five elevens are 55 so the answer is 55 so square root of 3025 is 55 and 3025 is a perfect square I hope this question is clear in case you have further question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching